So, I've arrived here at a hiking trail, getting ready to go do some herping and see what animals we can see. So not just herping, but literally any animals, any wildlife. It's gonna be awesome. Now let me lock up my bike. There we go. Now let's go to get onto the trail. See you there. All these shots setting them up the pain. So there was nothing much to see on that trail, but over here we have some monkeys right in the corner of the screen there just to help you out. I'm cycling and filming with one hand, so these are vivid monkeys. They are naughty little things, but cute little guys anyway. Bye monkeys, be good. I know they're not gonna be good, but anyway. Please don't fall down this time. Okay, so my bike's tire is flat. So I have to keep walking now, not riding my bike. Really flat. Cheers. I don't know who would bury their phone in the sand for a shot like that. Currently, Looking for a nice spot to film. And I don't want to necessarily find any snakes in here. So you found me out here again in my element. So I'm in what looks like to be a hippo's feeding ground. There's a lot of hippo dung and the birds are probably overpowering my voice right now, but that's okay because it's a beautiful sound. Let me get some hippo poo to show you quickly. So over here is some hippo poo. I'm pretty sure it is hippo poo. It looks like there's lots of little bugs that have laid eggs inside of it, but it was a huge pile. I just got some to show you, and there's quite a few of those piles. And I'm pretty sure it's from hippo because that's the only animal that would be around here that would make such a large feces. And you can see they've cleared out this whole area and then they walk through paths all along. So that's pretty cool. And right over here, we have this thing. It's actually called monkey fruit. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong, but what these are used for around here in this area, they get hollowed out from the top and then all the fruit part gets um, carved out. As you can hear, it's pretty hard. It's a pretty hard fruit. You can't just bite into it and eat it. And I don't think they actually eat it, but they sure, wow, there's lots of insects on my legs they hollow it out and then they carve on it and then you can put a candle inside and hang it from a tree so that's what they use these for and I'm not sure if it's edible but I would actually love to know so yeah I'm having a load of fun looking out here for animals and just enjoying this beautiful beautiful scenery all the mosses on the trees and all these creepy vines not creepy as in scary but like creeper vines but I'm having a blast you'll catch me later tomorrow looking for some more animals let's see what we can find cheers guys that was definitely not planned making my phone fall like that, but anyway. <laughs>